everyone, it's Alana. Welcome to my channel. To all of my new subscribers, thanks so much for subscribing. And to all of my subscribers who have been here for a while, thanks so much for sticking around and in interacting with me and all of that. So this is the black T-Rose Rogue 25. And um, I'm just gonna be going into the bag, I mean, getting a close-up of the T-Rose detail and going into the bag and um, giving you measurements. I've done this, I've given measurements on the 25 and the 31 in previous videos, but I mean, if I can remember to, I'll do it every time I grab a bag, I'll try to remember to do, to give you the measurements if I can. So again, this is the T-Rose Rogue 25, 10 inches across, eight inches, approximately eight inches height, and five and a half inch depth. All of the 25s, of course, are the same size. All of the Rogues are the same size as other Rogues in, their, in that particular size. So this is the front. As you can see, gorgeous, gorgeous. The T-Roses are basically plastered all over the front. And there are only, let's see, how many? It's just black. Black and um, this looks like oxblood in here. Black tea rose with oxblood uh, detail in the flower. And then I guess, I don't know if this is Bordeaux or Burgundy. I don't know what they call this color here. But it's, is it lighter? It looks, this looks lighter. These flowers here look lighter than the, than the oxblood color in here. But um, I don't know what the, the technical name is for um, these colors. I only know oxblood because it's like the darkest shade of red, or I mean, it's it's the darkest shade in that that family, the you know Bordeaux Burgundy. Oxblood is like the darkest shade, and it has a lot of brown in it. So I know how to I know what Coach is calling that. I know what it looks like. But the other the other flowers, I'm not sure. So let me zoom in here. move the strap out of the way and these so you can get a good look now coach has done a number of T Rose bags they um, they come in many different colors I chose this one because I'm not actually into the T Rose I'm not really into the T Rose detail I love this one because I mean it's just it's a whole lot and I'm really I'm, I try to I like to keep it simple with the um, with everything in life actually. I'm very low maintenance um, except when it comes to my bags but I do kind of like to keep it simple and this all black with just the Bordeaux or Burgundy in Oxblood is so pretty and so that's why I love it and um but they do have a lot of different combinations of colors in um, other T-Rose bags here's the back oh and this is um, T-Rose slash uh, what is this called uh, what is this called? Tooling. Tooling detail. Absolutely stunning. The way that they they kept the uh, they kept the color simple is the reason why I love this bag. Otherwise, I don't generally do T rose items because it's just so much. If this was the front of a T rose bag, I would buy it. However, I mean just in general. However, the uh, this here is just a lot. It's a lot, and so if it weren't just two colors, primarily two colors, I wouldn't have purchased it. But it's just, it's so pretty. And of course, the gold toned um, hardware and feet and all of that just, ah, oh, it just pops so well on this, against this black. And here is the interior. This is another reason why this bag is so pretty. The interior, again, I don't know if this is Bordeaux or Burgundy, but it's not Oxblood. Oxblood is darker than this. But it's just, oh, look at this. It's just the black against this with the gold tone hardware. Isn't this just so stunning? So stunning. The, sh the handle drops, by the way, are about three and a half inches. And um, the strap drops, the shoulder strap drops are uh, 11 and a half. Oh, I have, I have it stuffed, but the interior here. Zip pocket on this side, snap, snap slip pocket on the other side. I absolutely love the back of it. The tooling is so pretty. And did I get a nice close up of this, the tooling colors? I don't know if my camera's gonna be able to do this. You have colored, that burgundy Bordeaux color in here. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. 
So yeah, this is the bag. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it more than I ever thought I would, I would love it. And because it's black, I'm not afraid of messing it up. Bring it to the light so you can actually see the bag. And um, along with this bag, at the same time, I actually purchased the uh, 1941 T-Rose, the matching clutch, basically. The interior is, that's oxblood. See how dark that is in the brown, the little brown undertone of this? That's oxblood. It's definitely a different color. Ah, oh, it's a different color than the interior here, but that's actually, that might be the same color as the tea roses. I'm looking at them together. That actually, so these look like oxblood. Those are oxblood. The flowers there are oxblood. They look lighter because it's a full flower, but in the in the flowers that have black and oxblood, they look darker. So it just must be, it must just be the um, the size of the flowers and the way that they're set up that give them a different different look. But the interior burgundy or Bordeaux against all of this is super pretty. Yeah, I just love it. I love this set so much. All right, so that's the bag. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will try to um, I will try to answer them as best as I can. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic week. Oh gracious, it's so difficult to do a black, to keep the black shining in this, uh... yeah, there you go. I have to turn it towards the sun. All right, y'all, take care. Bye.